Turkey's ambitions in space could start in Somalia. Ankara is actively discussing building a spaceport in the country to launch rockets. Serdar Hussein Yildirim, the head of the Turkish Space Agency, has been participating in a global conference in Russia. The Global Space Exploration Conference took place in St. Petersburg last week. Yildirim indicated that Russia was likely to be a key partner in the country's space program. We could work with Russia in many areas, on the spaceport, on rocket engines, we discussed the possibility of Russia providing assistance in the construction of our spaceport. They have a great deal of experience in this area, both in launch pads and spaceports themselves. In February, Turkish officials revealed they would spend $1 billion on exploring space. Their plans include moon landings in 2023 and 2028. Our first goal is to land on the moon by 2023, the 100th anniversary of the Republic of Turkey. I believe Turkish engineers will manage to carry out this mission. The construction of facilities in Somalia are part of their blueprint. France considered the nation for its own space program in the 1960s due to its proximity to the equator. Turkey would spend $350 million on the launch site in Somalia. Turkish President Recep Erdogan has treated Mogadishu as a key partner in Africa. He has also been his nation's biggest proponent for exploring space. Erdogan launched Turkey's program in 2018 and by 2020 it had tested a rocket. Plans have been made to launch satellites and even send a Turkish astronaut to the International Space Station. Yildirim has been busy gaining experience from over 20 countries who have some component that can contribute to spaceflight. Delta V, based in Istanbul, is the space technology firm in the center of Erdogan's grand plan. They have suggested another rocket launch for later in 2021. ADN TV will continue to report on Turkey's space program and Somalia's participation in the future.